Today we export a Godo project to HTML to make it available via the web. Unlike other videos, I will show you how to run the export on your own machine with your own HTTP server using Python. Welcome back to our 5-minute beginner series to Godo. This is a basic 3D scene that we will use. I also used this scene for my character controller video series, as shown in the playlist here and the description below. Let's start. So we go to Project export and we get a very empty window. We select add and HTML5. Now we can see HTML5 runnable under presets. We also see a lot of errors. They're all about export templates. If you don't get those errors, then this is because you probably exported before. For example, you used my Godot to Android video and you followed that. Once you have installed the templates, they are installed for everything in your Godo installation. But if you haven't exported before, then you will see those. Now we click on Manage Export Templates here, which gets us to a new window. You can also do that directly here by selecting Editor and then Manage Export Templates, which gets us to the same. We pick the best available mirror for the current version. Here it says again, we are missing our templates and we can click download and install after which we have to wait for a while. Okay, this is finished now. We can see our error is also gone here and we can close. If we go back to project export. We can see that our errors are gone. We can now go ahead and export to HTML. So to export, I can use a lot of different parameters here, resources, features, scripts, and so on, but I don't care about that. I just want to change HTML5 to game, and I want to change the export path to the YouTube. In my case, I want to call the HTML file index.html because index.html is picked up automatically by any HTTP server, which is kind of handy. So I click on export project, confirm that, it saves it, and I get here are my files in this folder. Many JavaScript files, HTML files, index.html is right here. And I get a WASM file, WASM file, which is a binary of my game. I could now click on index.html. I can see it goes there and it loads and then, oh, I get a fail to fetch. What is going on here? We get this error because we access the HTML file here in file mode. We need to have a web server or an HTTP server because some of the files need to be delivered via the HTTP protocol. And this is what a web server does. Luckily, we can install Python, which comes with a HTTP server built in. So to install Python, we go to python.org. Under downloads, you pick your version. I won't save that right now because I've done that already. But I will show you what to do in the installation process. So when you start the installation, you will see uh, options. I click on modify, but you won't see that. Under advanced options, that's very important. You have to pick add Python to environment variables. So you can run Python from anywhere on your machine, anywhere from the command line. Make sure you select that. I click cancel, but you go ahead and install it. Then I close that and I have my command line here. And when you have done that correctly, Python becomes part of your path. That means when you type in Python, you're going to get it uh, from anywhere you are. So I just quit Python here. And then I run a Python M HTTP server together with a port, which then runs a HTTP server. And now I can basically go here and go to localhost 8000. That's the same I used here to run that. And then it loads the game. And oh my God, what is this? You may ask. This is a new art form, I would say at least. But joke aside, we made a mistake because when we exported it, we left the project in GLES3. This is kind of the high quality graphics. In Godot 4, this will be Vulkan, and browsers are not good with that. We need to switch that to a lower quality graphics that is good enough for mobile. We change that, we need to save and restart for that. So Godot restarts. 
I can see right away that my graphics looks different, simpler in a way. And I do another export. Same thing again, I select that, I export project, I have my same folder. Yes, I want to overwrite that. Then I close that, I close this. And now my server is still running, the files should have changed. I can restart that and here we go. We have our character moving in our 3D world with a simpler graphic. The yellow has kind of changed. It looks a bit simpler, but not by much. But this is kind of web friendly. So that concludes today's video. All links and command lines are in the description and in the playlist. If this was useful, please like and subscribe and hit the bell and leave comments for feedback. And mind yourself and see you soon.